Hey, what's going on guys? This is Alex the Comic Quarter. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for checking out my channel. I've got some unboxings to do and an awesome act of kindness from Comic Hunter 1014. So if you're not subscribed to him, just please uh, check him out. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Uh, without trying to show any names here, I'm going to try to fold this over. This is a really cool sketch that he did. Um, of Batman and then he has that as his icon on his page and so I commented on that and said I really liked it I thought it was really cool and he went ahead and sent me um, a sketch so he asked me who my favorite character was I've been really loving my um, the art from the community that I've been getting so far I've got something from AI Samurai which is really cool and I got something from Trinity which is awesome so uh, this is packaged extremely well I did get into it quite a bit. I started recording this already and it was taking me way too long to get into this so wanted to get into this. Okay, so here's a couple. Oh, alright, here's a couple of uh, sketches. Wow, thanks so much, man. Show my appreciation. Well, I appreciate you. Uh, I'm definitely going to hit you back, brother, Eric. Uh, so thank you so much. Wow, I'm, I'm excited to see. I wonder if I turn it over this way. If I won't see. Wow, cool. Oh, awesome. This is beautiful. It's gorgeous. So I told him, oh man, the backside I thought was the sketch. So here's the backside. I told him that my fa one of my favorite characters is Stephanie Brown and, at, as Batgirl. And look at that. That is really classy. Super cool. Brother, I love it. And sign there uh, on, the, on the bottom. Really gorgeous piece of art brother i appreciate it and he sent me one more too which i'm blown away man thank you so much for sending me two this is amazing these are gorgeous man i'm gonna have these framed uh with adis and with trinities and these are definitely gonna be um part of my room wow brother awesome thank you so much this is great absolutely i absolutely love these man so these are getting framed and these are getting put up this is a stunning, man. Very, very good job. Thank you. Uh, Comic Hunter 1014, sub him up. He's awesome. And see if he can, you know, maybe you can order a commission from him or something like that. He's great. So thanks again, man. I appreciate it. Now, um, next is an unboxing from a, a Facebook um, online auction. I think it was Nick's, Nick's Auctions, Comics Auctions or something like that. Um, I peruse that site every once in a while. What was funny was I had bought these books, you know, a couple weeks ago. And I was just, you know, waiting patiently. Sometimes I just order stuff. And, you know, it comes when it comes, you know. And this one just wasn't arriving. So I messaged the seller and I was like, you know, I'm all paid up. What's, what's the holdup? And he thought I was waiting for another auction of his. And I was like, no, I'm not waiting for anything, man. I want... I'd like you to send me my books. And so he felt bad. So he said he was going to throw in some extra stuff here. Um, so we will see. We will see what he sent. The funny thing is, is usually I don't even remember what I actually ordered. I remember one. There's, I think there's a Dark Knight variant in here. Which I'm pretty excited about. Because I missed the boat on it the first time it came out. Dark Knight 3 um, variant. And so he's got a little, he's got some good packing here. He's got quite a big stack in there. So hopefully there's some good stuff. Hopefully he sent me some, or at least the books I ordered. But I've ordered, I've bought from this seller before and he usually does throw in some readers or something else just to fill in and, and man, it just really makes you feel good when the seller throws in a couple extra things for you. I think he threw in a Silver Age Spider-Man on my last order a little bit of a lower grade but still it was awesome to get and I tell you what these sellers and um, Eric pack so well you know I want to do this genuinely and, and have my reactions uh, genuine on camera sometimes these packaging is so so well done that it takes a while okay is bag and boarded in here no what in the world Okay, this is interesting. Okay, I'm going to turn these, well, whatever. Okay, first one is 
Scar, son of Hulk. Interesting. So there's a throw-in. That was a throw-in from him. So I appreciate that. That's kind of cool. Comico. Okay. I wonder what this is. Elements. Number five. Another throw-in. It's a wraparound cover, so that's interesting. Definitely have to check that out for sure. That's probably some of my books that I ordered. Here's some other... He, like, throws these in as, like, padding, I think. So here's another Son of Hulk. Pretty cool with Silver Surfer. And last one. So, man, that's pretty cool. He's, he's a cool seller. He definitely does a good job. Okay, now this one, I don't know what it is. All right, okay, this is the Saya Um. Uh, Invincible Iron Man number one. I think I ordered this from someone else too. So there's that. And this is the Phantom variant. So there's that. That's really beautiful. There is... Okay, this is something that he threw an extra. This is the Invincible Iron Man number one uh, Rob Liefeld variant. So he threw this in extra because I was waiting so long for mine. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to have to do some research on that. I'll check that out. Um... And I did order this one as well from him. Bought that off of him on Facebook. So that's the sketch cover of that Siam. I know Freddy's 562 and the Doom 143 talk about this uh, artist a lot. And man, I know why. It's gorgeous artwork. So thank you guys for shouting this artist out. It's beautiful stuff. Absolutely stunning. Sia Um. And then this is what I, I bought as well. This is the art germ uh, for book one. It's a really beautiful um, Wonder Woman and Batman. That's a gorgeous cover. So there's that. Stanley Art Germ Lou. And so, yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome little haul there from that seller. Okay, quickly, um, just some books that I picked up lately. I was in Moline, Illinois, and I picked up these uh, Alex Gardner covers. That's Batgirl um, 21. Just really kind of catches your eye when you see these covers. So there's that. Especially this one. I think this cover is gorgeous. And the next one too. 27. Out of order. But yeah, that's really pretty. Really pretty artwork there. And last one is 26. So I really like the Adam Hughes at the very, very, very beginning of this um, this run. Then there's some Art Germ 11 and 12. And then these ones are really pretty too. I was in a um, Half Price Books today. And they had some more autographs. And Rob Wise Guy, I, I need to get your number because I want to call you. Because they've got some really like indie books that are autographed and stuff for super cheap. And man, I'd love to hook you up with some of that stuff. Um, so this is uh, McGuire signed this. Not sure what his name is. Ken, Kent, Kurt. I don't know. Kurt, Ken McGuire, Kent McGuire. I don't know, but it's um, the first appearance of Grail, Justice League 40. So that's pretty cool for four bucks signed. A really nice condition copy of that book. Really awesome Adam Hughes cover. Um, it's a variant for Kick-Ass 3, uh, Volume 1. So, awesome Adam Hughes cover for four bucks variant. I think that one's going for at least 15 bucks. So that's really cool. Love that, love that cover, Adam Hughes. Um, Eternal Warrior number four, is this the first appearance of Bloodshot? I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, maybe, yeah. So, Eternal Warrior number four, awesome. Now, um, I've been calling to all the shops in St. Louis. I called a shop in Chicago and I got um, I got a few of these. Um, this is the one per store retail um, appreciation or whatever. This is the cover. So big shout out to um, to All American Comics for saving me a copy of this. Uh, the other two are going out as gifts that I got. Uh, but this is the one from you guys and this is the one that I'll keep. So thank you so much. I appreciate it, Carl. So there's those. Super, extremely beat cover. Extremely beat up book. But the inside is cool and it's just a reader. I got this for 20 bucks. Batman 181. Look at that. That's all, all the way is ripped off. Carmine, Carmine Infantino cover. First appearance of Poison Ivy. 
and inside it's great it's wonderful and I can do it's just a nice reader copy and so I'm happy to have this once again in my set I had a um, I had a really nice copy of that before okay lastly let's get into uh, the new Silver Age books that I got so when we last left off this is my list we left off I've got 1 through 25 okay so I, I was gonna go trying to go in order so we got 26 be crossing these off today. Let me see if that's ready for me. Yep, 26, 27. Just pick these up today. Uh, the mimic is back. It's 27. Okay, I already had a 28. So this is something that I already had crossed off the list. Here is um, 30 more of mimic. And this guy is crazy. I don't know who this is. Adaptoid strikes. Super Adaptoid. But he, his costume looks like a green version of Captain America. With the scales and the stripes there. So that's 29. And um, I don't... Oh, here's a 30. I've already I already had this 30. So let's cross off those real quick. I got that one from a Ace. He's a YouTuber. He lives in my area, so okay, so I'm crossing off 26, 27, 29. Okay, so now we have one through 30. So let's see what else we got. Like I said, we, I got all of these just today. Uh, 31. Cobalt Man, that's always been one of my favorite covers. That's really cool. Okay, so that's 31. Did he not have a 32? Okay, I guess not. Okay, no 32. Uh, 33. Really awesome Juggernaut cover. Super cool. Yep, 33, 34, it says um, War in a World of Darkness, 34, it's in pretty, pretty good condition, there's a little bit of, um, you know, what, what wants to chip up there, so that's 34, okay, I'm going to cross those off. 31, didn't have a 32, it's got a 33 and a 34, 33, 34, I already had a 35, along came a spider, so this is the changeling, first appearance of changeling, and technically Spider-Man crossover, but he crossed over in one of the earlier books too, I believe. That says the first appearance, first crossover of Spider-Man, but I swear it might have been an ad or something for like the TV show in the 60s of Spider-Man. Okay, here's uh, 36. Meccano. Oh, and a really cool date stamp up there, too. I like that a lot. Pretty good condition book. Um, July 20th, 1967. So there's that. So I'm going to cross off 36. I've already had a 37. Just got today in that lot a 38 with the blob and the vanisher. So there's the blob and there's the vanisher right there. So that's pretty awesome. And this is the origin of the X-Men. Also a very, very nice condition book. Uh, there's some spine ticks here, but pretty solid. Pretty solid copy of it. So I'm crossing off 38. Okay. And then the last book that I'll show, but this is one that I've already had, was 39 when they get the new costumes. So there's that. I think Uncanny Kyle Walker has this book too. He's really working hard on his uh, set there as well. Okay, so I've got... 
let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 books left to complete um, X-Men 1 through 66. That 66 is crossed out, but it's still, uh, I still need to get that. So there's that. I'm going to put this in here with these books, and then I just have one Thor book. Thor... Um, 231, so there's that. That book to cross off the list. Thor 231. Okay, whatever. All right, well, uh, with that being said, guys, uh, shout outs. Haven't done shout outs in a while, so I'm just going to spend a few moments shout outs. Uh, first of all, Doom 143, we're doing a contest together. It's a joint contest, it's called the Roulette Challenge. You guys have probably seen it. You guys have probably entered it already. We've got a ton of entries. Just encourage you guys. You got until February 10th, and uh, it's going to be an awesome thing that you can uh, you can you know there's going to be books under numbers, and you pick the numbers if you win. So that's really fun. That's going to be pretty cool and pretty unique. Um, Contenders got a contest going on. Um, Airborne Sappers got a contest going on. Those are two uh, two contests that I'm going to enter in um, here pretty soon. So uh, I haven't shout out Davis Comic Finds in a long time, man. I hope you're still watching my videos, Davis. Um, I'm still watching yours every time you put one out. Um, Mr. Rigor Mortis, 86, brother. I still watch your stuff. Tat, uh, awesome dude. Blaster Stash It, guys. Um, of course, watching you guys. Um, was fortunate enough to be asked by them twice now to be on the show so thank you guys JT and Blackpool and Neil um, with the comic board you guys are awesome shout out already Rob Wise guy but you're great um, amazing Murfinator man you're you're really cool Archangel um, Chris OMG Chris Don the comic book junkie you, uh, you just recorded video number eight um, bro it's not gonna be the same uh, environment without you in it but uh, you're awesome Semperfy Comic Guy, man, love your stuff. Uh, him, him and Cody have got a show called The Firing Squad, so check that out for sure. You can check it out on the Blaster Stash It page. There's links there. So definitely cool stuff. If I forgot to give you a shout out, PD's Hobbies, uh, Justin Byers, Dork Four, um, Cat Ren Figures, definitely cool. But like I said, the Blaster Stash It guys, you know, uh, you know those guys. So so definitely check them out. Um, Man, I'm drawing a blank right now, AG Surfer. Um, with that being said, guys, have a good night. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the stuff that I showed, and I will talk to you all soon. See ya.